Hi everyone, it's Niven, and today I am playing three random horror games. First one is called Uncle On Katami, developed by Stiesichi, I hope I'm pronouncing their name correctly. And in this game, we're going to be drawing a picture for our uncle. Creepy. Intro. Your parents are going out and your uncle is here to babysit you. Not a great idea. How to play. Your uncle is currently on a high dose of ketamine. Okay. So some of you who don't know, ketamine is like a substance used for for pain, like a painkiller. It's basically used for things like if you want to doze off, you know. Anyways, he wants you to draw him a nice picture. Your uncle will slowly approach you when you're not looking at him. Okay, he will get pissed off over time. The more he is pissed, the faster he will approach you. You can... Wait, what? You can shit your pants to make him clean it and forget about his anger. You can shit every 50 seconds. Wow, that's... That's odd. Alright, so uh, look at the drawing. Oh, draw. Wait, hold on. I'm up. Shit my pants. Okay, he's gone. Well, let's draw. This is kind of a unique take on the board, but at the same time I can shit my pants, which is kind of funny. Oh shit, he's right there. He's right there. Okay, look at the picture. Focus on the picture. He's on Katami, so nothing will happen. He will not get angry. So we draw his son, the house. Oh, it's almost complete. Now we just need to draw grass and things like that. Look at the uncle. Oh, he's approaching. Is he? I'm not sure. Because from my perspective, it doesn't look like he's very close. Oh, the cloud. Okay, look at the uncle. Yeah, he's definitely approaching. Can I shit my pants? Come on. It's been 50 seconds. No, not yet. Okay. Oh, shit my pants. Goodbye. Let's draw. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we do it with someone. I guess that's me. Okay, let's uh, look at the uncle again. Oh, he's close. Oh, fuck, he's close. We drew a cat or a dog. It can be anything. It can be a werewolf. If I know. Look at the uncle. Hey there. Is he shaking? So basically the premise of this game is we're left with our sick uncle to draw him a picture and we don't know what the fuck is going on. Our parents are responsible douches who went outside and left us here. Wow, that's... That's basically a story for a horror movie. Wait, what? We drew a smile. That's creepy. Can we shed our pants? Yes. Come on. I'm not going to be looking at the uncle, we have little left. Oh wow, look at this picture, this looks kind of... daunting. What is up with this kid? Oh wow, uncle is close, come on. We can do this, we can finish this. Let's, don't look at him. This is my strategy. Don't look at him and finish the drawing. Alright, look at him one more time, that's it. That's the last time I'll see my uncle. Probably the last time I will sell anything. Come on, come on, come on. It's live left, live left, come on. That's a nice drawing. Wow. So that was it, guys. We finished the drawing and we were not killed. I guess. I like the premise, most of all. It was very unique. The drawing mechanic was kind of cool. And the shit your pants thing, it was a bit funny. If you want to check out the game, as I said, like is in the description. Now let's move on to the game number two. And our second game is called SmileFace.exe, developed by Geisha. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. This is a game jam game, and yeah, that's all I know. Also, it's not a first person game, so. Oh, look at this. This is cute. So we need to collect keys, I guess. Because that's what the number counter is showing up there. So we have zero keys. And, okay. Oh! I got one key! Hehehe, <laughs> nice, nice. I like black and white style so much. They used to play a lot of games, or games, wait, what's that? Oh, there was something following me. I used to play a lot of games. There's actually black and white game jam. 
I'm not sure if this is part of that jam, but uh, yeah. Oh, oh, we open one of the five, five. Is that five? Yes, five ones. So we need four more keys. What's that? Well, it looks like um, this looks like something. Uh, wait, what? Uh, okay. Oh, there's a computer. Interesting. Oh, look. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can shoot the motherfucker? Come here. Come here, you piece of shit. You wanna get some? Yeah. So we have a weapon. Now we can defend ourselves. I didn't expect this game to be this good. This is a huge ass map. All right, let's do, let's follow the corners. Okay, let's do the Slenderman type of thing. Follow the corners. All right. Oh, I found a parking lot. Oh, here's a key. Nice, 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 nice. I got another key. Go away. Oh, a key. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you very much. Two, and I need one more. I literally need one more. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, hold on. I don't need one more key. You know why? Because I used the one key for the weapon. So I need two more keys. Oh, fuck me sideways. Come on. Oh, yes. Okay, I need one more key. Or... Or not. I lost count. Oh, it's... Hold on, yes. Two. Three. Oh, I fucking told you I need that one key. Alright, so I found the last key. I'm right here. Ooh. So I'm going to go up, open the door, and fucking leave. Yes. Yes. Alright. Now, what are my thoughts about smileface.exe? I love this game. I missed the simplicity in horror games, and especially in 2D games, which basically this is. I really enjoyed the art style, as I said before, I like black and white. Other than that, the sound design, the monster, the weapon, everything was perfect. I think for a game jam project, this is gold. This is definitely gold. I really enjoyed this. If you want to check out the game, link is in the description. Please support the developer or developers, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the game number three. And our third and final game is called MazeGame.exe. This was developed by Jay Rebuck. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. And uh, yeah, let's interact with the PC. Log in. Favorite sports. Um. What is my favorite sport? Oh, look at that. That's a basketball. Is it basketball? Basketball. Yeah, it is. Nice. All right. Throw anonymous. We saw that you were interested about the project. It's almost complete, except for a few bucks, but that shouldn't interrupt you from the experience. I've attached it to the email. Have fun. Thank you very much. I guess I'm going to be downloading mazegame.exe. I wonder if something will show up behind me and will scare the shit out of me. Oh, this is a literal maze game. All right. Oh. Let's go, guys. Just quietly go and play this. You know, back then, games like this were awesome. I recently watched the movie called Cobweb. It's actually a new movie, it came out, and that was very creepy. It's basically a movie about a kid who's being bullied and he hears some noises from his wall and, you know, some shit happens and there are lots of twists and turns in the game, so you will really enjoy it. Okay, so we are going in a maze. So if we hit the wall, it will restart. I wonder... Fuck, come on. 
come on. Don't bullshit me with this. You know you're bullshitting me with this, come on. I can do this in my sleep. Literally. In my sleep. Oh! Alright, so, let's go this way. Right? Right? Am I smart? Yeah, you know I am. That's why you're watching my channel. Nothing is behind us. Right, level four. Oh, I'm almost touching the wall. I am almost touching the wall. And now we have to go, yeah. Okay. Well, this is it, folks. This is the game I chose randomly, which was going to scare me. And it is a nuts. I mean, I'm very anxious about completing the game, but did I say the game? I sometimes mumble. There is no one. Oh, just straight line. Okay, that's easy. That's it, guys. I guess there are 10 levels, I hope. Level 6. Nobody's in the room yet. Um, wait, what? Oh, I have to go straight down. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yep. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, did that fucking door open? Oh, shit. Wow, I didn't expect that. I didn't really expect that. Okay. Oh, my heartbeat. Shit, level A7. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I close the door, please? Oh, wow, it's... it's red. I'm fucked. I'm already fucked. We both know we're fucked. We are... Fucked. I can't believe that I am going to be devoured by a monster in my room. Oh, wrong direction, dude. Okay, let's play this and check the outside. Nobody's there. Nobody's there yet. I'm inside the room. What? Oh, fuck! Uh, do we continue playing? Yes, we do. Um, you know what, sir? Can you just leave? Well done. Redacted has completed the experience. It is unsure what happened afterwards. The data will be used to help improve future experiences. Thank you. What are my thoughts about Maze Game? .exe. I like this. I guess this is a game jam game, so probably a lot of work went into creating this masterpiece. Probably for me, the beginning part was a bit slow. I guess from the level 6 and 7, when I saw the door, you know, myself from the back on the screen. Now, that was very creepy. That was amazing design. The monster was... It creeped me out, but it didn't scare the shit out of me, you know? So, that can be... Maybe fix it a little. But yeah, the first couple of levels, I think you can cut it short, make four levels, five levels, instead of going like three, four levels, and then things start to happen. And uh, yeah, if you want to check the game out, link is in the description. For all the games, you can check them out, support the developers, they have done an amazing job. All three games were fantastic. And uh, yeah, thanks for you, the watcher, for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.